For more, let's go to Washington. Former U.S. military intelligence officer Michael Pregent, an adjunct fellow at the Hudson Institute's think tank. Thank you for joining us here on France 24. Thank you, Francois. Uh, so the uh, uh, news today of uh, airstrikes pounding uh, IS uh, positions, your reaction? Well, that's, that's the whole thing about this ISIS campaign. It can't just be done with airstrikes. Uh, that's not going to be enough to keep uh, ISIS from operating in, in the Al-Qaeda model, where they're able to conduct suicide bombings, intimidation, and assassination campaigns, and continue to operate in a, in a cell-type environment, an Al-Qaeda-like cell, where they continue to uh, destabilize security, and not only Syria, but also in some provinces in Iraq. And you heard the vice president in that report saying, uh, quote, the caliphate has crumbled and ISIS has been defeated. Your reaction to Mike Pence's remarks? Yeah, we, we've simply knocked down buildings. Uh, defeating a, a terrorist organization has many phases. And, and this ISIS campaign was a phase of destroying Sunni cities, exiting Sunni, uh, the Sunni population into refugee camps, and then holding it with the wrong force. Uh, the wrong force in Iraq with the Hashid al-Shabi, the Shia militias, and unfortunately the wrong force in northern Syria with a heavily uh, Kurdish YPG force that Sunni Arabs are rejecting. Do you see the Trump administration rolling this back? Uh, they have to. The last thing the president wants is uh, security degradation, a return of ISIS and ISIS resurgence ahead of the 2020 uh, election. Uh, and the president uh, is not going to leave Syria after an attack like this because it looks like uh, the tactic of bloodying Americans will get an administration to withdraw its troops. And I think that's something the president won't do just based on his, his personality and his bravado. Uh, let's listen to the reaction of France's President Emmanuel Macron expressing his condolences as he addressed his New Year's greetings at a base uh, in near the southwestern French city of Toulouse to France's armed forces. We will remain militarily engaged in Iraq and Syria with the international coalition for the coming year. We are staying invested to participate in the stabilization of the region. This is indispensable. We will adapt our global military stance for this situation, but any rush to withdraw would be a mistake. Michael Pregent, concretely, where does the international coalition go? Well, the international coalition, along with the United States, has to recognize that that ISIS isn't defeated, and that uh, the one thing that actually worked in counterinsurgency when we decimated al-Qaeda in Iraq was actually building a Sunni Arab hold force. We haven't done that in Iraq. We haven't done that in Syria. And unfortunately, the international coalition isn't building that force now. Uh, this will continue to be a, a, a cycle of violence that will continue until we get the policy correct and, and nobody is looking at actually addressing the policy to build a Sunni Arab force to reject a Sunni terrorist organization. A Sunni Arab force like the one we saw in Iraq in 2006-2007. Is that doable uh, with uh, the rivalries we're seeing between Turkey on the one hand, the Kurds on the other? Well, I think Turkey is actually the strongest advocate for building that force now, but for, for different objectives, because they actually view the YPG um, as more of a threat than ISIS is. Uh, it is not too, too late to do it. It's just we lack the, the political resolve and the investment in, in Baghdad to do it there, and we lack a coherent policy in Syria to do it there, unfortunately. Who would uh, be in charge? Because in 2006, 2007, it was the U.S. military. Well, I mean that, that's that's the whole thing. I mean, we have we have we have uh, defense secretaries who don't want to put Americans at risk, only to leave the next secretary of defense in a position where he has to put he or she has to put Americans at risk. So it, it has to be a U.S.-led effort. These are these are U.S. interests. Uh, the U.S. has to lead. I, I, I definitely like the position of Macron here, and the U.S is usually in this traditional role of leading. So it needs to be a coalition where the U.S. is definitely there, definitely invested, and gets this right. Otherwise, 10-year-old Americans will be 20-year-old Americans fighting in Iraq and Syria, because this cycle of violence is just continuing. Michael Pregent, uh, many thanks for joining us. Michael Pregent of the Hudson Institute in Washington. Thank you.